Morning, sir. Morning. Okay. Yeah, I collected very interesting and very challenging, uh, challenging problems for today's class, right? Just create this. The number of points. Just create and down. Um, try, try about this. Yes.
have you tried this sir i tried this graphically sir very good very good uh i did it i put the coordinates in the decimals yes yes and i think the answer is option 4 sir but i'm not sure option 4 just a small mistake small correction option c First yeah. one, 2x plus y is equal to. Without using decimals, you can also draw this line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll tell. Simple, very simple. X equal zero. Yes, yes, yes. When x equal zero, y is equal. Two. Oh, two, sir. first if x first we, we are now uh, drawing first equation if x is equal to if x is equal to sorry if x is equal to 0 y is equal to yes this is the point next if y is equal to sir y if y is equal to 0 then it's the zeros it's the origins yeah if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 see this oh yes sir in that equation y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 right yes sir This is just join. Next up, <clears throat> the x is equal to zero is nothing but y axis. Y axis, yes. Another name of x is equal to zero is y axis. So it is y axis. Next, y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero means. x axis next x plus y is equal to 5 how to draw x plus y is equal to 5 when x is 0 then y is 5 and then y is 0 x is 5 when x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 5 this is the point if x is equal to 0 is 5 
that's it yes you might have got same same uh, same diagram that's yes sir same yes sir. and this is now you can see it is a quadrilateral yes sir it is a quadrilateral right yes sir ah the number of points x y with the natural numbers as coordinates natural numbers as coordinates means uh, all integers fractions are not allowed uh, for, for fractions are not uh, do not do not be count yes sir. one uh, one comma yes 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 one comma three one comma four and uh, points on it also not uh, uh, not to be count oh then it's three for one sir One comma yes. one, 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 one comma three. One, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, six. six. Yes, sir. You got four. How? Sir, I thought that I have to like check the point that is only inside the blank. I mean, like the space quadrilateral. I thought the only point that's in the space, like the area, I thought I should only check that. So I checked four is inside the quadrilateral. It's very interesting. And uh, this question came in Yamset exam. Yes, sir. Two thousand eleven. I suggest you to main uh, uh, to maintain a book. That means notes. To write all yes. these things, it's very useful for the purpose. Yes. Even for our higher studies, also the concept is very uh, very useful. Especially yes. in geometry. In geometry, whatever you learn, um, everything will be useful in geometry. Yes. For example, there are there may be some some chapters which may not be useful for our higher studies, or 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 not for our stat or board. But geometry, geometry in every area of geometry is. Very useful. Yes. It is very challenging. See, whenever, whenever. Two mutually perpendicular. Can you give an example for two mutually perpendicular lines? X equal zero, y equal zero. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, some may think that. Uh, uh, Some may uh, some students may uh, make it a uh, complicated by taking uh, two perpendicular lines. Of course, these are two perpendicular lines. And uh, a point in the x-y plane moves moving. That means it is a point. Its distance. From two mutually perpendicular lines, it is a distance from first line, first line, and this is a distance from second line. Some of the distances, such that some, some, some of its distances. Suppose if this distance is d one, if this distance is d two, so d one plus d two, d one plus d two is equal to five. And then this point may move to next place. Then its distance is d three, it is d four. Yes. And d three plus d four is also five. Like that. But simple idea, very good. Um, simple idea is taking yes. Previously we did. See. Previously we used two points. So we use two lines. One is x equal zero, another one is y equal zero. Clearly, 
these two are coordinates uh, in coordinate system these two are one is y axis and the one is x axis yes so it is very easy very simple the idea of taking x y axis is um, the idea of taking x y axis makes the problem very simpler yeah these are two mutually perpendicular lines yes x y x are mutually perpendicular lines whenever we have a point in the question to mutually perpendicular lines then those two lines can be taken as x x and y axis right now there is a point a point a point moves for example it is a point i'm asking you one question what's the coordinate what are the coordinates of this point 3 comma 4 very good what is the distance of this point from x axis i am asking you what is this distance four sir very good distance of c distance of 3 comma 4 from x axis 4 sometimes this point may be in another quadrants at the stage coordinates of a point may be minus 7 comma uh, minus 7 comma minus minus 3 then what's the distance of this point from x axis you may say negative 3 but distance is always positive that's why we use mod concept so distance of minus 7 comma 3 from x axis is mod of minus 3 yes. so our conclusion is what is the distance of x comma y what is the distance of x comma y mod y mod mod y distance of x comma y from y axis mod x mod x so here if you take that point x y if you take that point x y distance of x comma y from y axis distance of yes. x comma y from x, y axis is it is mod x mod x from x axis mod y you see sum sum of the two distances is, is equal to 5 yes means mod x plus mod y equals 5 right okay, let's take the previous example uh c <clears throat> what is the distance of this point from x axis can you see i am pointing yes. yeah from x <coughs> yeah what is the so distance four. what is the distance of four from x uh, this point from x axis four sir distance of the same point from y axis uh, one sir one four plus one five sir very good what is the distance of this point from x axis which point oh 3 uh, sir very good from y axis 2 no, sir sum uh 5 sir very good distance of this point from x axis 2 no, sir from y axis 3 sir total 5 sir same distance of this point from x axis 4 uh, 1 sir from y axis four sir total five sir even if we take this point distance of this point from x axis zero, zero sir. from y axis five sir so you have got an idea now the point whose sum of distances from x y axis is five is a straight line yes of course it need not be five it, it can be anything but it is a straight line yes correct 
mod x plus mod y is equal to five has four of four cases. Yes. Which case? Both the past two. X plus y is equal to five. Yes. Second case. X plus two y negative. X minus y is equal to five. Yes. Third case. Minus x plus y is equal to five. Yes. Fourth case. Minus x minus y is equal to five. Yes. Sir. Yeah. If we draw the first line, that means this line. It is like this, as we did in the previous one, yes. two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one. See. Right? Yes. Next, this one. In, in the second case, in this, actually, it is the, uh, this is the line just now uh, drawn. Minus x plus y is equal to 5. That means x is negative, y positive. Yes, sir. This is second quadrant. x negative, y positive. Yes, sir. Uh, we are drawing this one. X minus Y. X positive Y negative. Means this. Yes, sir. Last case. X, X negative. X, X, Y positive. Y negative. What is asked? X yes. plus Y equals 5. The area. The area oh. enclosed by the locus of the point. This is asked actually. Yes, sir. You know, clearly it is a rhombus. Yes, sir. You know the formula to find the area of rhombus? No, sir. Area of rhombus formula. Yeah. I'll give you the list. Uh, at present, the area of rhombus formula is off into D1, D2. Where, yes, D1, D2, where D1, D2 are diagrams. Okay, sir. It is a rhombus, right? <laughs> area of this rhombus formula off into D1, D2. D2. D1 is, this is diagonal, diagonal 1. Can you uh, can you calculate the diagonal 1? Length, length of the diagonal. 5, sir. Oh, not, not only 5. Diagonal. Oh, 10, sir. 10. Length of the second diagonal. 10, sir. So area is equal half into d1 d2 half into d1 d2 10 times 10 5 times 10 50 sir yeah option option 3 sir even if you don't know the area formula to find the area for rhombus you can answer this question you know uh, area triangle. Of, yeah area of triangle formula Half into base times height. Half into base times height, right. Half into base is? Uh, five, sir. Height is? Five, sir. Five. How many such triangles are there in this total, total diagram? Four, sir. Four. Four times. Sir. Four times half into five into five. Yes, sir. That goes two times. Two times, right. Twenty into times. Five into five. How much? Fifty, sir. Fifty. Fifty square units. Yes, sir. Option three. Got yes. It? yes. First of all, first of all, I am asking you one question. Can you give an example for a point lying on the line three x plus four y is equal to five? Point say is it zero comma zero. That work. Are you sure? Ah uh, no sir <laughs> zero. Mm. Three times zero. So zero plus four y is five. Example for a point lying on. Okay. 
yeah you can tell infinity points because if it is straight line or if, even if uh, if it is segment if it is segment if it line segment contains infinity points See, so 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 sorry 3 Zero comma five by four. Agree? Yes, sir. The part oh. zero comma five by four is on the on that line. Yes. Plug like in zero comma five by four. Yes, sir. It will be zero plus four. Four times five. Five. Zero plus five, sir. That's five. Next, I'm telling. Five by four comma four zero. Oh, it'll work. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what happens when we plug in five by four comma zero? I don't know, sir. It will be fifteen. Three three, three x so three x means five by three into five by four plus four y four zero sir zero is equal to what? In the previous uh, calculation, four cancels with this four. Yes, sir. Here yeah, it is actually fifteen by four. Mm, yes, sir. Five, right? Instead of yes. that, you can say. Five by three comma zero. Yes, sir. Plug in five by three comma zero. In the part three x plus four y. What sir? Plug in five. Five by three comma zero. Oh, it will be five, sir. Yeah. In this way, we can uh, write infinity points, right? Yes, sir. The line three x plus four y is equal to five. The line three x plus four y is equal to five contains infinity points. This line contains infinity points, right? Among those, yes. Let, let it be. The five, five comma four and fifteen by sixteen will work, sir. And again, five comma. Five comma four and fifteen comma six, fifteen over sixteen. Five by four. Oh, okay, okay. Five by four, comma. Comma fifteen by sixteen. Okay, let me check. Three x, sir. <laughs> five by four plus four times fifteen. <laughs> four times fifteen by sixteen. Very good, excellent. Oh, fifteen plus fifteen thirty. I don't know, sir. But when I substitute, will it not give us the same answer? Fifteen plus uh, fifteen or thirty. Thirty by four is not equal to five. Hey, tell. So I when we substitute. When we substitute x equals zero, five by six. No, no, no. Oh, no, sir. One second, one second. Three plus zero equals five. Sorry, five by five by four comma five by three. Five by three. Hmm. Five by four comma five by three or fifteen by three. Five by three, sir. I made a mistake. Yeah. Fifteen by four. Fifteen by four. Plus four times so four four times five is twenty. Twenty by three. Oh, Yelsen is too much. Twelve. No way. Simple. I am giving you simple idea. If you want so to take, I put the x value as zero. Um, and then I got the y value as five by four, sir. Okay. Is it? Yeah. And then I put the <laughs> Y value in it, and then I substitute it to find the x value, and I got it wrong. Yeah, it's correct, correct approach. I mean, I substitute I substituted the y value in place. Yeah, of yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Very good. It's good. Yeah, tell what's your y value? Oh, five by four, sir. Five by four, right? If y is equal to five by four, right? Put y is equal to five by four in the equation. Three x, three x plus five by four. That is three x plus five equals five by four. Three x equals zero. So x equals zero. Zero. That's why it is zero comma five by four. Yes. You can take not only five by four. Uh, not only five by four. Any value. For example, if you take y is equal to one. Yeah. Take y is equal to one. Then three x. Tell three x. Three x plus one equals five. Three x equals four. X equals four by three. Three x is equal to one. Five minus yes. four. Yes, it is equal to one by three. 
So the points are one by three comma one. Oh yes, sir. And then one by three comma one. <coughs> one by three times three x is one. Plus four times yes. one is four. four. That's so five. Is equal to five. Any? Yes. So, for example, if you take y, not only y equal to one, you may take y equal to two, or x equal to two. If what yes. happens if you take y equal to? If y equal to two, then three x plus eight. Yes, sir. Equals five. Equals three x equal to. Three sir. X equals negative one. Yeah, equal to negative one. So one of its points are my negative one comma two. Yes. Or you may take x equal to anything. X equal to seven. You may take x equal to seven. If you take x equal to seven, then three seven is twenty one plus four y is equal to five. Four y is equal to five minus twenty one. It is minus sixteen. Yes. Y equal to negative four. So seven yes. is it right? Seven comma negative four. If x is equal to seven, three x is twenty one. Four y is equal to five. Four y is equal to five minus twenty one. It's not sixteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Five minus twenty one is nine minus nineteen. Yes. So seven comma negative nineteen by four. Four negative nineteen by four is also one of the point. Clear. Yes. Yes. Now, the point on the line. This line has infinity points, which is equidistant from one comma two and three comma four. See, this is the equation. There is a point on this line. For example, let this point. Let this point be this. Yes. The nature of the property of this point is its distance is same from one comma two and three comma four. Yes. For example, it is one comma one comma two. It may be one comma two. Yes. It may be three comma four. Yes. Both the distances are same. Yes. These distances are same, right? Okay. Yes. Point is asked. Yes. Okay. Let this point be. Let this point be x comma y. Yes. This point lies on on this line. So yes. we just plug in x comma y. Plug in x comma y. In this equation. Three x plus four y. Is equal to five, right? Five. Yes. Now, distance of this point. Let this point be P. This is A. This is B. P A is equal to P B. Clearly, P A is equal to P B. Right? Distance of this point. The point is P. The distance of point P from A is equal to the distance of point P from B. Yes, sir. Which means P A is equal to P B. Yes. P A is equal to P B. Right? Yes. Okay. X comma y one comma two. What is this distance? The square root of distance of x minus three one. Plus plus n minus two whole square. Is it called p b means three three x minus three whole square minus three whole square plus y minus four whole square. Cancel the root on both sides. Yes. And uh, expanding this, x minus one whole square means x square minus two x plus one plus one plus y square minus four x plus sorry four y plus four is equal x square minus six x plus three sorry plus nine y square minus eight x eight y plus four y plus sixteen. X square, X square cancel. Y square, Y square cancel. Okay. Now bring all the terms to left to left hand side or right hand side. Negative two X. Four X. Yes, you are right in telling directly. Yes, four X. Four X minus eight. Plus four Y. It is minus plus eight Y. It is totally plus four Y. Plus four Y. Constant so one plus four five. 
Yes, sir. 9 plus 16, 25. Yes, sir. 5 minus 25, it is minus, minus 20. Is equal to 0. We can cancel 4 in each term. 4 yes, is sir. X plus Y minus 5 equals 0. That means X minus Y is equal to 5, right? Yes, sir. Solve these two and deliver answer. One is 3X plus 4 minus 5, another one is X plus 5 equal to 5. Solve these two equations. Yes, sir. Y equals negative 10. Y is equal to negative 10. Very good. So it's the option. B. In one. Got it? Is it second one, sir? Yeah. Did you get X value also? No, sir. It's the only value that has yes. negative 10. Only value. Only Y value. Only Y coordinate is negative. It's only in second quadrant. Yes? Yeah. Your answer is right. Even if we want to find the value of x, we can use this. Is it that x plus y equals 5? Y is equal to negative 10. Yes, sir. x minus 10 equals 5. x equals negative yeah. Equal to 5. That means x is equal to 5 plus 10. 15, right? Yes, sir. It's very interesting question. And challenging, very challenging question. Yes, sir. Getting any idea? No. Sir, is it infinity, sir? Infinity? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> circles. Sir, for sir. Of circles touching the lines, uh, so and so and so. Oh, uh, sir. Must uh, study the position of those lines. Are three lines. Uh, study the position of three lines. I am asking you, find the point of intersection of first two lines. That means solve first two. Any, any, solve any two lines of your choice. Any two lines. First, second and second, third or first, third. Take any two lines of your choice. Any two. Yes, sir. Oops. <coughs> Solving? Yes, sir. I got an absurd statement when I used. Yeah. What are the lines you choose to solve? First and third one, sir. Very good. Go ahead. Yeah, yes. And I got. Cancel, sir. Why is it called? Sir, why also can so I multiplied the first equation by two? Yeah. So I got six x plus eight y minus two, sir. Yeah, six x plus eight y minus two equals zero. Next six x plus eight y plus three equals zero. So they are parallel lines, sir. <laughs> no solution. Yes, you are right. Yeah. They are parallel lines. These are parallel lines. That means no solution. We cannot solve yeah. them. Why we cannot Even... solve them? This is one line, this is another line. Yes, sir. And so I'm getting equal zero as the answer, sir. Yeah, they never met. Okay. That's why there is no solution for it. So it's very clear that the answer is zero. No, no, no. First, this is first line, this is third line. 
Yes, sir. It is first line. For example, it is first line. Let it be line one. And this is third line. Line three. Now, 4x minus 5y. Uh, okay, I told you one thing previously. Do you remember it? The parallel lines thingy, sir. See, ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Yes. Is it parallel to? ax plus ax by plus, by plus k equal to 0. Yes, very good. You are right. See, what happens when we take uh, two common from the third line? Two common from third line, it will be 3x plus 4y plus 3y2. Yeah, what happens 3x plus 4y? Plus 3 by 2 equals 0. Yeah. Plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Yes. Now it is uh, very easy to understand that the first line and third line are pa parallel. Yes. It is 3x plus 4 by minus 1 is equal to 0. Third line is 3x plus 4 by plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Yes. And one more point. Do you remember this? Ax plus by. Ax plus c is equal to 0 is perpendicular to bx minus ay. Ay plus yes. c1. Because, uh, x and x coefficients and y coefficients are interchangeable, and sign is opposite sign. Yes, sir. These are perpendicular lines. Yes, sir. X y coefficients are interchangeable, and op sign is opposite sign. Then those are perpendicular lines. Got yes, it? Yes. See, uh, what is our comment on the first line and second and first and second first and second lines? For x minus five x. So, first Sorry. and second line. If it is 3y, yeah. Let yes. us let's have a small correction. Let it be 3. Just think about this. Uh, what happens? What is our idea about this? Is a 3 4x 4x minus 5y. So uh, 3y sir, it's perpendicular. Sir. 3y, 3 by I corrected it. They are perpendicular. Sir. Perpendicular. It is perpendicular to first line. That means it is perpendicular to second line also, right? Yes, sir. These two are parallel. How many circles can be drawn such that each circle touches all the three lines? One, sir. Two. Yes, oh, yes. Two circles. circles. Right? Yes, sir. Answer is two. You may think even if 4x minus. Sir, even if they give 4x minus 5y plus yeah, 2, we yeah, get the same result. Even if 4x minus 5y is plus 2 is equal to 0, it is not perpendicular. Right? It may not sir. be perpendicular, but it intersects. Sir. That yes, means, sir. It, it is a neither. It is a. It is not parallel to any of the two lines. So it's the same way as you, as you. I, it may be like this. Got it. Uh, yes, sir. Number of. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, two circles only. Yes, sir. Then also two. So number of circles depends upon the number of parallel lines. Yes. Sir. If two lines are parallel, number of possible circles is two only. Yes, sir. I'm asking you one question. If the given yes. three lines are parallel, if the given three lines are parallel, number of circles which touches all the three lines. 
सर कैन इट बी आउट ऑफ द लाइन ओके इज इट जीरो सर यस जीरो करेक्ट इफ द थ्री इफ ऑल द थ्री लाइन्स आर इफ ऑल द थ्री लाइन्स आर पैनल नो सर्कल इज ड्रॉन सच दैट ईच सर्कल टचेस द थ्री लाइन्स यस लॉजिक ओनली नॉट मैथ वी मिस द थर्ड लाइन सर आई हैव ऑल द थ्री लाइन्स नो सर हियर If you draw like this, this circle is not touching the second middle line. Yes, sir. Middle line is intersecting. Yes, sir. I'm showing you one question. Yes, solve this. Remember, so we need to touch all the three lines. Same, three. same model, but similar, similar model. Four x minus y equals three. X plus y equals two. The easiest is to graph, sir. For these questions. Yeah, <laughs> using the. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we can use Desmos for our SAT, new digital SAT. Even for SAT. So yeah, so I think there'll be more questions on geometry than algebra. Okay, okay. You will be surprised. Though. when you so, draw these lines on desmos and you can answer easily and happily is it is zero sir <laughs> got it yes sir answer is zero sir because the given because three lines are intersecting at one point it has a name concrete intersecting is oh, okay yes sir for two lines. two lines more than two lines it is concurrent okay. so this is one line This is another line. This is another line. Right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, sir. That's how it is. Your answer is zero, sir. If the three lines are not intersect, not concurrent, I'm giving three lines. For example, this is the uh, way. What's your answer? So one, sir. Only one. That means then first two intersecting. This is the third line, right? Maybe like this, something like this. Okay. Yeah. And number of triangle uh, circles which can uh, which touch all the three lines is one. You told. One. Of course, it is one triangle, one circle, right? Yes. No, this is also the circle touching all the three lines. Oh, yes. So then there's like a sides, no? Not five. Sides, so it will be four, sir. Four only. It is not a circle because it touches only if it two lines. Yes. It is. It's also only two. So only four. So in this model, highest number of circles is four. Least number of circles is zero. Right. Yes. The three lines are like this. Are like this. Zero circles. Yes. If two lines are parallel. Then two circles. Right. Yes. Yes. So none of them is parallel. Then four circles possible. Got it. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Very, very, very challenging question. Oh. <laughs> Equation of the line passing through the point and making intercept two units between them. Ta and that. Oh, say is it? Is it two? Okay. Y plus two x equals three, and y plus say is it? Isn't it parallel lines? Yes. Very good. Your answer is right. Those parallel two lines, parallel. equation line passing through the points two comma three, two comma three, making two unit, two so units between the. 
first of all let us draw these two parallel lines right it needs symmetric form uh, i, I uh, we need to discuss uh, some concepts which are not uh, is it option 2 y equals 3 2 unit 2 units between the line making intercept 2 units between the line yes i'm telling you one formula 2.5 plus 0 3 plus 0 for example these are two lines so what are they even asking us for? Mm -hmm. what are they yeah, even asking equation of the line yeah let me uh, tell you one formula slope of this line is m1 right and it is another line slope of this line is m2 and the angle between those two lines is theta yes sir then there is a formula tan theta is equal to M one minus M two by one plus M one M two. Yes. Right. It is a formula. Uh, we need uh, some practice on this formula. Then we can handle this one. It is. A, so it's not option three and it's not option four, no. Yeah. Right. Not option, not option three, not option four. Very good. Yeah, try first. Make your attempt. It's either x equals two or y equals two. But when we put that in the graph, we see but that there are like two intercepts for both the lines. Uh, and you can use a uh, you can use uh, decimals also. Yes, sir. Using decimals, I find that there are two. Intercepts, no sir. For uh, for a y equals three, we see that the intercepts are zero uh, comma three and one comma three. Okay. See, for x, if you use decimals, I think uh, it's like this. Y plus two x is equal to like this. Maybe like this. Those two lines are. Yes, sir. And then there's y equals three and y equals there. Yeah. Uh, now. Now there is a line passing through two comma three, passing through two comma three. This is the line passing through two comma three, right? Yes, sir. And now making intercept two units. This is two units. This this is three units. Two units, right? Yes, sir. See now we can write a perpendicular between those lines. Yes, sir. See, it is a perpendicular, right? Yes, sir. And now you know there is a formula to find the distance between parallel lines. Mod of C one minus C. I told. C one C two by. Mod of A square plus B square, right? Plus B square. Yes, sir. The first equation and second equation can be rewritten as two x minus two x plus. Yeah, yeah. C one minus C two means what? Five minus three or three minus five. Two is, five minus. Yes, sir. Yeah, two by root two of a square plus b square means one plus uh, four. Four plus root, one. Root five. Very good. It is two by root five, right? Yes, sir. This is two by root five. This is two by root five. This is two, right? Yes, sir. Let this angle be alpha. Okay, sir. And this angle be alpha. Okay, sir. Can you tell third side, third side using Pythagoras theorem? Let it be x. Sir. Two x. square by root two by root five whole square plus. No, no. Four by four by five. Four by five plus x square is equal to four. It is hypotenuse, right? Yes. Yes, sir. X square is equal four minus, minus four by five. Four by five. Sixteen by five. 
yes x is equal to root of x is equal to 4 by root 5 root 4 by root 5 right yes sir no 2 by oh, 4 by root 5 right now can you tell tan alpha tan alpha is 4 root opposite 5 opposite side by opposite side oh, 4 yes. by root 5 over 4 by root 5 over 2 by root 5 2 by root 5 that's times root 5 by Yes, two by root five. Yes, yes, two by root five. Correct only. That equals four by root five times five root yeah, five by two. Yeah. Okay. If you take if you take this angle alpha, if you take this angle alpha, now tell what is tan alpha? Two root five by four root. Oh my. Yeah. Two root five <laughs> by four root five. Yes, yes. Two you by are. root five by four. Something. Five root five. Oh. Simplify. Two by root five whole by four by root five. Five by four. It's answer. Two by root five whole by four by root five is root five over two See, root two five. by root five over four by root five. Yes, sir. Two by root five times root five root five cancel. Yes, sir. Two one by, by two. One by two, right? Tan alpha is equal one by two. Right? Yes, See, if this angle is alpha, if this angle is alpha, yes, tan alpha is 1 by right? Yes, sir. Uh, that means, uh, now this is one line. Can you tell slope of this line? What is the slope of this line? 2, sir. Very good, very good. No, 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 minus 2, minus 2. Minus 2, yes. Minus 2. Slope of this line is minus 2. You agree? Yes, sir. We don't have the slope of this line. This is the required line. Do you remember? This is the required line. Sir, it will be undefined, no, sir. Graph. Uh, how graph, can you get it? How can you get it? You are right. When, when it's in x values, it's straight, no, sir. When, it, when the line is vertical, the slope is undefined. When the uh, line is horizontal, the slope is yes, 0. Course, your answer is right. But how could you say this is vertical line? It seems to be vertical. Sir, I grab oh, sir. So oh, <laughs> correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Yeah, finally answer is C. Do you know how to find the e e equation of vertical line? I told you e equation of a line is nothing but telling the property of points on it. Yes, sir. That's why I'm telling you one example. Coordinates of this point are 0, 3. Yes, sir. Coordinates of this point are 1, 3. Yes, sir. Coordinates of this of point them. are 2, 3. What do you understand yes. from these three points? Coordinates 0, 3, two. 1, 3, 2, 3. Y equals 3. Yes, equation of this line is Y equal 3. This is called horizontal line, right? Equation yes. of horizontal line is Y equal some constant. That means Y equal Y coordinate. Y coordinate means any Y coordinate of any point on it. Please keep this point, never mind. Equation of horizontal line is y is equal to y coordinate. Yes. Y coordinate means y coordinate of any point on it. In the same way, equation of vertical line is x is but, equal to x coordinate of any point on it. Yes, sir. I'm asking you, there is a line, there is a vertical line passing through the point 7, 25. What is the equation of this line? So x equals seven. seven. That's it. The answer is x equals seven is equation of this line because it's passing through seven comma twenty five. That means its x coordinate is seven. That means all the points on it has x coordinate seven only. Yes. Now answer this question. This is the line passing through two comma three, and it clearly it is a vertical line. Equation of this this vertical line passing through two comma three is x equals 2 sir that's it option option 1 sir right very interesting but it has much calculation it needs much calculation to get this answer see yes, your, your analysis is correct 100 percent correct uh, see but uh, we we need to learn some uh, some points some concepts some concepts in this uh, 
problem. See, we know the slope of the slope of these two lines are same. You agree? Yes, sir. Slope of this line is negative two. Of course, slope of this line is also negative two, right? Yes, sir. And 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 uh, this is the required line. We don't know. We don't know the slope of the required line, right? Yes, sir. Let the slope of this required line be m. And slope of the another line is minus two. And the angle between them, the angle between them is alpha, right? Yes, sir. I told you one formula to find angle between two lines. For example, tan alpha. This is yes, m one minus m two by one plus m one m two. Agree? Yes, sir. We know tan alpha is equal one by two. Yes, sir. M one means the slope of one line. That is m. Yes. M two means slope of another line. That is a negative two. Yes, sir. M minus minus two. That is m plus two. Yes, sir. By one plus m one m two. That means one plus m one means m. Yes, sir. One plus m one m two means one plus m into another line. Slope is minus two. Which means Can you tell? Two m plus four equals one plus m one m two. One plus m one m two. One plus m one is m. M two is minus two. One plus m times minus two is minus two m. Minus two m. Yeah. When we try to solve them, we face uh, an absurd. Yes. Last multiplication. One minus two m equals. Yeah. One minus two m is equal to two m plus four. Plus. Agree? Yes. Yes, sir. One is not equal to four. Yeah, since it is yeah, there are there are two options, right? That means it is mod. There are two options. Let me tell you. I will tell you about this option also. Yeah, that means uh, mod means we are taking one time minus another 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 time plus. What happens if you take minus, right? Yes. Sir. Uh, take minus. That means minus one by two. Minus one by two is equal. M plus two by one minus two m. Yeah. Now try to solve it. Solve it. Minus one plus two m. We are multiplying by minus one, right? Yes. Is it called two m plus four? You will be surprised. One Just is not equal to four, sir. Two m two m cancel. <laughs> one is not equal to four. Minus one is equal to four. It is absurd. Yes, sir. Whenever We get absurd while solving or while uh, while finding the slope of uh, any line. If you get absurd, that means slope of it is undefined. Mm, yes, sir. How could you tell uh, this point in the beginning without doing this calculation? Your answer is right, undefined, correct only because we get uh, we get an uh, absurd result. Sir, so because Can I grab. And I saw a line undefined, no sir. The slope of the line. All right. I know is that the vertical line. Then the slope will be undefined, and horizontal line. The slope will be zero. Very good, very good. So we can understand that if if we uh, if if we get upset result, that means the slope of the unknown slope. Here, slope of one line is minus two. It is known. Slope of yes. unknown line. Sorry, unknown slope. Unknown slope is undefined, right? So since slope is undefined, undefined means vertical line. Yes, sir. Because tan ninety, you see, the angle is nothing but tan theta. We discussed it previously. Do you remember? Slope is tan theta. Yes, sir. You know what's the angle made by this vertical line with x-axis? The angle made by any vertical line with x-axis is ninety degrees. Yes, sir. Then what is the slope? Tan ninety degrees. Yes, sir. Answer undefined. Undefined. Yes. That's why slope of a vertical line is undefined. Yes. It is very clear that the slope of the required line is undefined. That means yes. it is vertical line. Yes. The equation of any vertical line is x is equal to x coordinate. Yes, sir. Which means x is equal to x coordinate of any any point on it. We know one point that is two comma three. Yes. Finally, the equation of the required line is x is equal to. And yes. there is a twist on it. There is a twist for this sum. Of course, x is equal to is correct answer. Yes, sir. But there is an interesting twist in this question. I told yes. you, if, uh, 
whenever there is a mod, we can take two options, two cases. So one case is negative, another case is positive, right? Yes, sir. We can take positive also. By taking yes. negative, by taking a negative, we got x is equal to. Yes. We can take positive also. Take positive. Yes. Intentionally, one result, one answer is hit. One 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 answer is hit in this option. So, intentionally, one answer is hit. See, we can take positive also. One by two is equal to m plus two by yes two m. Do cross multiplication. Two m plus four is equal one minus two m. Yes, sir. And four m is equal to three. Four m equals three. M equals three over four. Very good. M equals three over four. It is defined. Yes. Sir. Did we remember points low form y minus y one is equal to m times x minus x one? Yes. Sir. Do you remember it? Y minus y one is equal to m times x minus x one. X and y one are two comma three. Right? Yes. Sir. Tell y minus three is equal. To m times means three by four times. By four times x minus two. Right? Yes. Equation four y minus twelve is equal. Well, equals three x minus six. Right. Bring those. Four y equal three x minus four y plus six. Yeah, plus you six know this is also correct answer. Yes. Three x minus four y plus six is equal to zero. It's also correct answer. Okay. Yes. But yes, intentionally, this result is hidden in the options. Yes, sir. Of course, there may be four options like this. One option is yes. uh, option one is y equal three. Second option is x plus y is equal to five. Third option is x plus y is equal to seven. Yes. And fourth option is three x minus four y plus six is equal to zero. Yes. And what is your option? Fourth uh, option three yes. x minus four y plus six is equal to zero. Where is it? Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh Again. yes. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. This also correct now. Yes. If three x minus four by plus six is equal to zero is given, then x is equal to is hit. If yes. x is equal to is given, then three x minus four by plus six is equal to zero is hit, right? Yes. But but not in all exams. There is only one exam that is JE Advanced, which means IIT entrance. Yes. Okay. In that exam, there there are questions like this. First option x is equal to second option y is equal to three third option x plus y is equal to five and the fourth option is three x minus four y plus six is equal to zero. Then what do you say? The, I saw an interesting question in social media that is uh, one uh, uh, in con K B K C like questions. This in question one question is asked. So, okay, I will tell later. See, yeah, if the uh, options are like yes. this, what would you say? There is a I enjoy it. This type of questions are also there. Fourth option. Of course, first answer. First is also there. Yes, first sir, option is equal to second option y is equal to three. Third option x plus y is equal to five. Fourth option three x minus four y plus six is equal to zero. Then what sir, is your answer? Response. So it's a uh, Tough exam, no sir. They'll ask us a long equation. No, no, no. That is, there is a, there is one kind of questions. Those are more than one options correct. More than one options correct category is there. Yes, sir. In in that questions in that category, more than one options correct. So yes, there is a one option one, option two, option three, option four. Bubbles are there. Yes, sir. O M R T. Like this. Yes, sir. There is an interesting evaluation method. Uh, four marks for this question. For each question, four yes. marks. Yes. Sir. Right. Yes. If you correct all the correct answers, that means one and four. For example, one and four is correct here, right? Yes, sir. You will given four marks. Yes. Sir. If you uh, bubble option one and option four, you will be given four marks, right? Yes. One must one student may think. 
what happens if i bubble only one if i didn't bubble fourth option if you yes. um fill fill fourth option right yes sir then he will be given only one mark oh both the options are correct yes sir yeah even if four four is filled and one is not filled then also he will be given one mark yes there is a twist in it he actually first option fourth option correct right yes if if a student fills first option and fourth option okay yes. if he thinks yes. some other answer is also correct of course there are chance there are chance for one correct two correct three correct of course yes. yeah most of the 99 cases one option correct two options correct three options correct i yes. have seen four options correct question yes sir so one option may be correct two options correct three options correct right if, yes. the, if the student may think that in this question three options may be correct and uh, he he filled three some one four and some other some other uh, vowel right yes sir then he will be given negative one mark because in his answer one wrong option is there in his answer yes simply if he didn't fill anything he will be awarded zero not attempting gives zero marks yes Att attempting 100% correct gives four marks yes but if his answer has a wrong wrong option it will be given uh, negative one mark yes sir. that's why it is a toughest exam you know we don't know whether that exam contains this category or not no one know, no one knows which type of questions will be there in that exam till the question paper is given yes no one knows except the paper setter except the paper setter and printing a computer operator like this except that uh, set of people no one knows which kind of questions will be there in that exam and no one knows how many questions are there yes. even the number of questions are uh, also um, not revealed even yes. number of marks number of maximum marks also not revealed number yes. of maximum marks number of questions kind of uh, questions are not revealed it will be known only when the question paper is given in the examination hall there is matching there are matrix there is integers only one character and blanks integers whatever so it's why mm -hmm. that's why it is very challenging and uh, uh, the greatest thing uh, in the history of uh, education institutes in the india in india last yes, time all the three categories chaitanya got india uh, first all india first rank in three categories j means j advanced and neat in all the three yes. categories all in the first rank yes sir it is challenging and it is a heavy and task okay wish you happy sri ram navmi see you in the next class oh, right. same to you sir thank you thank you it is better to listen this class again so that you can understand yes. uh, this tough questions easily yes sir.